All right, so this is going to be part two of our converge diverge problems with sequences. So we have our first sequence on the board here. We have a sub n equals the square root of one plus nine n squared over one plus n squared. Okay, so all we need to do is just take a limit here. We take a limit as n approaches infinity, the square root of one plus nine n squared over one plus n squared. Okay. All we have to do to kind of see what's going on here, some of you may already see it, is just if we divide everything on the inside of the square root by n squared, you can kind of start to see what's going to happen. If we do that, we get the limit as n approaches infinity, the square root of 1 over n squared plus 9 over 1 over n squared plus 1. Okay, you may be wondering, like, you know, like, why did you divide by n squared? And that's because, well, that's the highest power of n here, okay? It is that n squared. So if we divide by it, now we get something that we can actually just look at and be like, okay, this is going to be what our limit is. Because as n approaches infinity, 1 over n squared, that's going to be 0, okay? So they're going to get a 0 here and a 0 here. You'll be left with red 9 over 1, right? You will have that 9 on the top, the 1 on the bottom. And we, of course, we just know that that is 3. Okay, so this sequence is convergent. Now, a little bit of a more interesting one here. a sub n equals sine of n. Okay, what's going to happen here? Because a sub n, it, it just, you know, or sorry, sine of n, well, that's going to look like this, right? This is going to be here and here and we're just going to get something that looks like this it's going to go up and go down and up and down and up okay so you know it's not going to you know it's it's not going to approach anything it's just kind of just out there and it's it's going to be oscillating forever okay so that's actually going to diverge okay that's what we're going to call that is just going to be diverging because it's not converging to anything, so it's diverging. That's kind of the idea. Okay, so we can say divergent. So we have our last problem up on the board here. A sub n equals sine squared n over 2 to the n. Now what do we know about this? Well, you know, we have a trick function here, and that means it's going to just be oscillating up and down, but for what values? For for sine squared n, well, that's going to be between 0 and 1, right? And this 2 to the n here, well, that's just going to become infinitely large. So if we have a very small number from 0 to 1 over an infinitely large number, well, that's just going to be 0, right? So this, if you take the limit as n approaches infinity of sine squared n over 2 to the n, you'll just get zero, okay? We know that that is zero because our denominator is just becoming infinitely big, okay? So that means it's going, you know, this fraction goes to zero, all right? So that is going to do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for sequences and series, the explanation video for the convergence and divergence of sequences, and the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon.